Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Jay from BornToProduce.com and welcome back to this AI stroke LE stroke elements beginners course just to get you started. So in the previous lessons we've learned how to bring it in some drums, some chords, a guitar. I've also in the meantime between the last lesson I've recorded a bass guitar as you can see here and in this lesson we're going to record some vocals. So hopefully you're enjoying this course so far and that it's really useful for you. Please let me know in the comments if it is. Let's do some housekeeping. Let's get some colors arranged on this. So just hover over the left hand side of the track and hold down shift and use your scroll wheel on your mouse. It's just maybe red for drums and let's call these drums. And if you hold down shift and enter, it will actually name the part as well. Whereas if you don't hold down shift, this would have said groove agent. But I like everything to be in sync. You can also come over here and go to the color menu. But as you can see, it's a little bit more tricky because this audio part was highlighted. That is the one that becomes colored. So I just prefer to do it my way. So I mean, that goes for the same if you wanted to color this one differently. This part, for example, this one blue and this one a slightly different blue, purple, whatever, just so you can distinguish between the two. Like that, for example. If one part is slightly different from the other, then that's another way you can do that. Anyway, so they're all nicely colored now. Let's just carry on with the naming. So piano, shift and enter. Guitar is okay as it is with the different tape names, that's fine. And bass is fine. Apart from the capital B, we're gonna really anal, it has to be correct. Shift and enter, there we go. So that's our housekeeping done. Control S to save or come up here, file save or save as if you want to use a different version. So let's have a quick listen to what we've got so far. Now I know it's not the best guitar playing in the world, but hopefully this is giving you an idea of how to record instruments yourself. So on to vocals. So we need to do the same thing again. All of our inputs are already set up, so we can just right click, add audio track, same as before really. I'm gonna choose input one. That's my microphone input on my sound card. Don't forget my sound card's got two. You may have one, two, four, eight, whatever. Depends on what sound card you've got. Again, it's gonna be mono because it's one microphone. Stereo out, and we're gonna call this vocals going to color this something different so for those of you who know how to record vocals you don't need to listen to this bit but if you're a total newbie then make sure you have a microphone with a pop shield on it maybe stand around six to ten inches away from it and try to have headphones that are closed back and that that way the audio leak from the headphones won't go into the microphone too much just check it your inputs are set up obviously go to record enable same as before really, same as recording the guitar. You may want to add on some reverb for your vocals, for example. So just come down to reverb. You'll, you'll have Roomworks SE if you've got nothing else installed, like third party plugins, that kind of thing. And make sure you put it on monitor so you can, so you can hear the effect. But again, it will be recorded dry, so you can always change this later. So again, do many, many takes on loop record is what I would suggest to you. And then just pick out the best parts again, a bit like we did on the guitar there. We are the children of the stars. And so here some vocals are recorded um, a little while ago, and I'm just going to zoom in by holding down my mouse button and holding down in the timeline there. I'm just going to get the timing right. It's not quite right at the moment. We are you can hear it's quite late, or a little bit late. So what you need to do is turn off snap. Uh, let's make this bigger as well, make this a lot bigger. Don't forget you can turn off the lower zone if you want to up there using G and H to zoom. Uh, in fact, let's just turn it off. It's getting in the way now. So let's just see if this Turning on snap back on to get my audio back to bar one. We are Still a touch late. So we'll just chop off a little bit more by using this bottom left hand corner. Remember, press J to take your snap off. 
and use the fade in function as well so you don't get any pops or anything like that. Snap back on with J, putting this to the start. We are the children of the stars made to live in ecstasy. Yeah. Okay, so obviously there's quite a variation in volume, which is always going to be apparent in vocal recordings. And that is what compression is for. We're going to, in the next lesson, when we do mixing, the same thing needs to be done to the guitars and the bass and everything. Everything needs to be mixed. Nothing's been mixed yet. And we're going to make these sort of elements pop out in the mix. But I think for the moment, it's okay. So you can hear some of these phrases are getting lost in the mix but like I say compression will sort that out in the next lesson and you'll also notice that uh, the singer has recorded the double length so all we've got to do really is highlight everything we've got so far and click Control D or Command and D and now we've got a double length project and this is a good way of actually just going to quickly show you how to make your own arrangement it's best to have used quantize and put it on one bar so it snaps to one bar. So you can only put this on the bar. So the best thing to do would be just, just be to highlight everything and duplicate quite a few times. And this is a real simple way of making an arrangement, by the way. And, and then just say, for the middle part of your song, you may want to drop out the bass, for example, just highlight and delete, or you can highlight and mute and you can come to mute up here or right click and mute and therefore we drop out the bass and the vocals for this part here. So you get the idea that's an easy way to make an arrangement. So I'm just going to undo all of that by Control Z. Okay, so that's it for vocal recording. Now, for those of you who are a bit more advanced with vocals or need a lot more instruction than what we've given here, then we have the perfect course for you. Recording and mixing vocals in Cubase 10. Now, it's just under six hours and it's packed full of useful information, such as in Module 1, we go through all the sort of setting up kind of stuff. So what mics do you use? What different mics are there? What polar patterns do you use? How do you get the most out of your singer on the day? That kind of thing. And then we go into the actual setup in Cubase itself where we look at the control room and you know how all the different recording modes and how to get reverb into the singer's headphones, all that kind of thing. And then module three starts to deal with you know perfecting that performance in post. So after the vocal has already been recorded, how do you tune it up? How do you time it? You know, all those sorts of things that you, you have all these features in Cubase. Cubase Pro is absolutely fantastic. And then, you know, after that in module four, we start talking about how to get a big vocal, how to thicken it up and that kind of thing, how to create harmonies and how to use those takes that you thought were no good. You know, you can actually use chops of those takes to make them have a creative purpose. We, get, we obviously talk about EQ, compression, all that kind of thing, all the usual kind of stuff. And then in the last module, you know, we get a bit creative. We teach you how to pitch shift the vocals, how to chop them up, how to use formant shift. All things that can make your track stand out from the others. So if you really want the one-stop shop course, which is going to teach you all about vocals in Cubase, this is six hours long and it's really the one for you. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks for being with me so far. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the course so far. And join me in the final lesson, lesson six, where we're going to mix all these things together. See you then, guys.